Okay guys, so in this part of the video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up the pieces on the print bed in your slicer. Um, there's a way that you want to set it up on your build plate so that it prints properly. Okay, ready? Let's go. Okay, so now that we've um, talked about what the slicer does, we're going to go ahead and print the side piece. All right, so we can actually go ahead and print it like this, but I don't recommend it because when you print it this way, here I'll show you guys. When we generate automatic supports, right? If you see down here, this is <clears throat> sorry, this isn't a very solid base for the print to to stand on. Um, the bed has jerking movements. And so if you do that, this is gonna come right off the bed and it's gonna topple and you're just gonna have failed prints. So what I suggest doing is so we've exported this, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into NetFab right here and we're gonna cut this, okay? So we're just gonna go into NetFab and we're gonna drop our STL file into NetFab We're going to add the parts and we're going to cut this up. I'm just going to be in two, right? So what I want to do first is make this as vertical as possible, which is that way. And then I'm going to take the Z bar right here, just like what we did when we made the, uh, the scaling rings. And I'm going to put it right about there. We're going to cut it in half. This way, it's going to have a more stable base when we print it. All right, so we got both pieces now. It's cut. We're going to take this. We're going to export part STL. We're going to go to our Iron Man folder. Try to be organized that way. It's easier for you to, to work with it. And we're going to export this part as well. Cut one. And then we're going to go back into our Simplify 3D. And we're going to just drop one of them. See? The thing with FDM printers is they print vertically. So if you guys um, print it this way, you're going to have a lot of supports. This uh, going down here. But since we cut it, you see this part right here? It's flat which makes this so much easier to print. See, now you have a much more solid base and you don't have to um, mess with it so much. So those are uh, techniques that you guys can do to have a, a much more solid base for um, when you guys print. So we're gonna go ahead and print this and then in the next video, we're gonna put it together. And that's it, you guys. So that's how you orient your pieces uh, on your build plate because um, you don't want it laying down horizontal, you want it to build up because that's how FDM printers work. Um, in the next video, uh, after you've printed it out, we're going to smooth it out. I'm going to show you how to post process it, hide seams and all that other stuff. It's going to be a long video. So uh, that's it. Make sure you guys join us on our Facebook group. It's called 3D Printed Armor. We print all kinds of neat, awesome cosplay, costume armor stuff there. Um, if you guys join us, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. There's free helmets, files in the file section so i'll catch you guys there peace